Hey, welcome to Math Time with Mrs. Depper Schmidt. We've been working with mean quite a bit in the classroom, which you know is another word for average. Now we're going to use some of this data to work on a couple of different um, oh, ways to describe our data. And those two words are median and mode. You know that mean is the same as average, but I'm going to tell you what the median is. That can give you some different information about your data. It's not complicated or hard to figure out. And we're going to work with some data that were where students were measuring the width of their hands in the classroom. And these are all the numbers, the measurements in centimeters of different people's hands from class. Once we have collected all of those, we can see that their hands have lots of different values because we're all different sizes. There are some hands that are on the small side. We didn't have any hands that were four centimeters, but there were fives, six, sevens, eights, nines, and tens. Now, to find out the median of all that data, we're just going to take a look at our line plot. I've made the line plot from the number of different measurements from each person's hands. We had one person whose hand was five centimeters, four people had a six centimeter hand, ten people's hands were seven centimeters, fourteen for eight, one nine, and a ten. That is covering all of the measurements that were taken from the students' hands. Now I'm going to ask you to take a quick look at the line plot and then pause the video and finish this line plot in your math notebook. I'll let you have a careful look here. It's going to be important that you know what the numbers are, so you should back up a little bit and finish the line plot with all of the numbers. Okay, for five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 centimeters of people's hands. Now would be the great time to stop the video You might like to see the numbers again in order to make your line plot. There you go. And I will tell you now that you've had a chance to make your line plot that the mode of a group of data Remember the word mode. I love it because it sounds just like what it is. Very much so. The m I'm sorry, we'll do the median first. The median is another word for the middle of all the possible answers that were collected. So we'll take a look at the different um, numbers for how wide different people's hands were, and we'll find the middle. The median is... I'll go to both of the ends and I'll just scoot over one little spot until I get to the median. Scoot over there, we move from 5 to 6 and from 10 to 9. Now, look here, we don't have an exact middle because 7 and 8 would be the middles if we move in from both ends. Now, when you're d calculating a median, you can't have two different numbers. So you need to go exactly to the middle of the two that you had. And it's not that difficult to see. I'll get another marker here. So I have this guy. Our data was in between, we had some fives, sixes, sevens, eights, nines, all the way to tens. As we scoot to the middle, we discover that our median is in between somewhere, right in the middle of seven and eight. Now the value on the number line in between seven and eight is seven and one half, but we'll use the decimal notation here and show the median, which is the middle, as 7.5. So that's the middle of all the amounts that different people measured for their hands. Median means the middle. And we have 7.5. It's 
for our median when we measure the hands from the people in the class. Next I'm going to tell you what the mode is and that's the one that sounds very much like it really is. Mode simply means the most. It's the value that happens the most often in the set of data that you're talking about. And you have made your line plot. It is completely filled in just like this. And I'd like you to write down what the mode is from this set of data. Please make sure you write it in your notebook. I'm not going to tell you here, but if you are um, careful, you'll discover something very interesting. We did calculate, I do believe, that the mean of all of this data is somewhere between 7 and 8, maybe 7.5. I don't, can't remember from our working class. It's very interesting. It doesn't always happen that the mean and the median are the same. So typically they're, um, they're often close to each other, but not always. And the thing that is the mode, mode just means the number that appears the most. I'm sure you can um, just count that from your line plot. It's not a complicated thing to do, but it's very important when you're analyzing data and understanding the information from all the numbers. I know you're having a great day. Please remember to be kind. I'll see you at school.